What's, What's up, up Flyers? Welcome back to this week's Rundown. I'm Sanders Graff. And I'm Sarah Ellis Genovese. It is the week of October 10th through the 14th. This has been a busy week getting ready for our homecoming. Our Flyers have used their creativity to come up with a themed outfit every day. Mary Houston Mole gives the inside look of what our students have been wearing. Happy homecoming week, Flyers. Today is Monday, and the theme for today is anything but a backpack. I'm carrying around a cooler today, but let's see what some of our other students and faculty are carrying around the school today. Today, I'm carrying around a toaster oven as my backpack. Today, I'm carrying a pumpkin as my backpack. Uh, I brought a baby seat. <laughs> today, I have a chip bag as my backpack. Uh, today, I'm carrying around my dog kennel. Happy Tuesday, Flyers. Today's theme is barbecue dads and soccer moms. I'm a soccer mom. Some of our students went all out with today's theme. Here's a few that caught our eye. Today I'm a soccer mom. Go Flyers. We are barbecue dads! Yes. Today I'm a soccer mom. I'm grilling up my dog on this fine barbecue day. It's a great day. I'm loving it. I'm a soccer mom today. My favorite part about being at Loyola is all of my kids. A dad loves his kids. I've got like 21 kids. I love every single one of them. All of them. Good morning, Flyers. Loyola's keeping it comfy today. Wednesday's theme is pajamas due to PSAT and ACT testing. Let's see how comfy our Flyers are today. I really like pajama day because I get to be comfy and wear my unicorn pajamas. Today I get to wear my baby Yoda onesie. We love PJ Day because we get to wear our fun nightgowns. And be comfy all day. Happy Holidays, Flyers. Thursday's theme is holiday. Clearly, I'm the Easter Bunny, but I wonder what the rest of our students dressed as. Today, I'm Mrs. Claus. And I'm Santa Claus. I'm St. Patrick's Day today. It's my favorite holiday. It's always nice to wear green, and I can pinch people that aren't wearing green. For holiday theme day, we're 4th of July. I'm Mardi Gras today because it's my favorite holiday. Today, I'm Halloween. Happy Homecoming Day, Flyers. Hope y'all's week has been great. Today is Spirit Day, and I talked to some of our students to see how spirited they are for our homecoming game tonight. I'm really excited to be in the student section and watch the football game, and I hope we win. Um, I'm excited for the homecoming game tonight. I think we're going to win, and I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm super excited to cheer on our boys tonight and watch the homecoming court at halftime at our homecoming game. It's been a fun week. Have the happiest homecoming, Loyola. This has been Mary Houston Mole. We can't wait for this weekend. Last week, Bishop Malone came to visit our students. Here's Maggie Gooch to tell us more. Last week, the Flyers had the opportunity to meet Bishop Malone and participate in a Q&A where they learned about what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm Bishop of the Diocese of Shreveport. Uh, the Diocese of Shreveport covers the northern territory of Louisiana from, from Texas all the way over to Mississippi. And I'm responsible for all the parishes, all the schools. Uh, today I'm using that responsibility to visit here at Loyola College Prep, and it's a joy to be here. I'm really concerned about uh, the life of the students here at Loyola, and I want what's best for them. I want this to be a great experience for them. I feel very comfortable being here, and I've received a very nice welcome uh, these, uh, these two days. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you, ask the Lord's blessings upon you and, and uh, your teachers and uh, the whole school environment as you progress throughout this year. It was really meaningful that the bishop took time out of his busy schedule to come visit with us. It really means a lot to see him around the school and get to know him. I learned what it was like to be a bishop and what the day-to-day -day schedule was like. I have seen the Pope and I think it's really cool how he ordained the bishop to go to our district and serve our masses. We're so grateful for opportunities like these. Thanks for coming, Bishop Malone. This has been Maggie Gooch. Thanks, Maggie. We were so lucky to be able to visit with the bishop. Hey, Sarah Ellis, I heard the soccer trials for this week. Did you try out? No, but I know someone who did. Who's that? Kate Johnson, and she breaks the news on how it's going. Soccer is officially back as tryouts were held this past Monday for the boys and girls. Here's how it went. We're back uh, for another soccer season. Excited to uh, get through tryouts tonight. We've got a good group of girls back. Um, we graduated 10 seniors, and that's always a difficult thing to replace. But uh, I'm excited for some of our new young players to uh, step up like they always do every year uh, and compete and help us to uh, get back to a state championship this year. Had some injuries, which um, you know are going to be difficult to overcome. But uh, again, I think that we have a good core group of players that are returning. They have a lot of experience. 
being in the last three state championships since they've been here at school. And I think that's going to really pay off at the end of the year as we start getting closer to the playoffs and have some time to kind of build our chemistry as a team together. So really excited. Hope everyone comes out and supports the girls this year and uh, we make it back and bring home another state championship. It's really bittersweet being our last tryouts. I'm so excited that I'm with this team, but it's also really sad because it's our senior year and this is our last tryouts for Loyola soccer. But I know that this season we're going to do great things. Me too. Tryouts were really fun this year. This is going to be a great soccer season. I love soccer. This season should be pretty interesting considering it is going to be our last season and his first season. But um, yeah, I'm interested to see how tryouts go. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to play with all the freshmen, sophomore, juniors. Uh, it's nice meeting everyone. And I hope we do well. Can't wait for soccer season this year. It's going to be a great year. And I can't wait to see how it goes. All right, uh, I'm hyped for the soccer season. I got my boy Gilly. Yo! Yeah. My boy Gilly right here. We're gonna win state. Be ready. Bring home state the ring. bound. Hope everyone scored the position they want. This has been Kate Johnston reporting. Best of luck to everyone who tried out. Are you going to the homecoming game tonight? Yes, and so is Jack Wallace that gives us this week's sports report. What's up, Flyers, and welcome back to the sports report. This week it's been a very busy and exciting week of sports, so let's get to it. This Thursday, our lady volleyball team took on Manny and won in four sets, three to one. Early in November, the Lady Flyers will start the playoffs. Congrats on a wonderful season, ladies. It's homecoming week, and Coach Green discusses how our football team has been preparing for this week. Yeah, it's been very interesting. They're, they're tough. They run it between the tackles. They're, uh, it's nothing fancy. You know, they're going to line up, and pretty much you know what they're going to run by their alignment. They throw it three or four times a game, and it's usually play action. They'll try to pop you up top. Uh, because you really have to play some coverages to get some extra people in the box. So, you know, if, if a corner go, goes to sleep, you know, he can, they can hit you. But it's definitely, now I think we'll be able to move the ball on them. I think uh, we will be able to move it. It's just when we do get those touches, we need to be able to capitalize on them. That's all for this sports report. This has been Jack Walls. Thanks for the update, Jack. Remember to come to support your Flyers tonight at Mesmer. That's all for this week's rundown. Have, Have a, a great, great homecoming, homecoming Flyers. Flyers.